So now let's see how we can use the qualifier hue, saturation and uh, luminance option inside of DaVinci Resolve. So to access this, you need to go around and click on this button right here on the color page where qualifier, hue, saturation and luminance option is available. So if I were to go around over here, then you see that there's a bunch of colors. So what you can do with this is you can select out, uh, let's say, a particular color on your scene and then uh, change that color out. So I'm just going to go around onto uh, the sampler right here and click. And what happens is that that particular color is selected. So it selected the uh, color range, the saturation range and the luminance right here. So that particular color is selected. So now what, what I can do is I can change the gain and you can see that I can change around the color for that particular selected area. So I can make the um, uh, sky is much more blue as you can see just like this. You can go around change the gamma of it right here just like this and change around the lift over here for it as well. So you can see that this is what you have. So this is the before and after. So you can go around and see from the node right here as well. So I'm just going to go around and select other portion as well. So let's just go around and select this and you can see that now that portion is selected. But I want the sky to remain as it is. So let me just press Control Z right here. So now what you can do is you can go around, add a node right here, a connector node. So I'm just going to go around and then change the connector node output right here. So let me just delete that and then connect this out node right over, around over here. So this is what you have. So on this node, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and take the picker and select the grass. So now on that particular node, grass is selected as you can see. So now what I can do is I can change around the gamma for that grass and make it more green as you can see just like this. So let me just go around and make it more green over here, but not of the, all of the grasses are selected. So I can go around, change the saturation greens right here, just like this, and change the rains over here to increase out the selection. As you can see, it affects more area as I click and drag around the selection right here. So I'm just going to go around right here and let's say this is what I want. You can also uh, select out the brightness areas as you can see, just like this and the change happen. But I'm just going to go around and make it, let's say for example, a bit green and not too much green right there. So this is what you have as you can see and this is the before and after. So I can go around and hide this and this is the before as you can see right here and this is the after. Similarly, you can go around, add in more connector nodes right here. But let me just go around and add in a serial node right here. So uh, this is what I have. I'm on the quick click level. So let me just go around, add in a node. I'm just going to delete this and then connect this out over here. And here you can make further changes as well. So you can go around and select out the color that you want and change around how it actually looks as you can see just like this. You can add in color to it and so forth. And you can go around and pick a subtract as well. So you want to subtract out some colors, let's say for example, to be more precise, you can use this. You can add in more areas. Let's say for example, you want to take this and take this right here. You can add in more selection as well. And the selection changes automatically right here. You can go around, use feather subtract right here as well to subtract out areas that you don't want and add um, in as well. So that is what you can do right here. You can invert out the selection as well, as you can see from over here. And you can see a little preview over here, just like this when you invert out the selection. So that is how you can go around and then um, uh, and then use the qualifier um, a hue saturation and liquefy um, a hue saturation and luminance option inside of DaVinci Resolve to change around the color according to how you want. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.